Hello class, in this video I'm going to go over uh, the simulators that we're going to be doing in this class. There's going to be three of these assignments, so please pay attention. I'm going to first talk about some technical support things. It tends to be the first issue. Then I'll give you the rundown on how the simulators work, and then I'll actually give you an example. If you feel comfortable with doing the simulator, go ahead and start, and you don't have to watch this video, but this video is here to help you out. So to get started, the simulator has a few screens. It has kind of a dialogue going on on the left, and then it has all this, this whole interactive menu on the right side that you can click um, to different things. Now the, the simulator we're looking at right now is for a marketing class, so ours is gonna look a little di bit different as far as the content, but the navigation will be the same. So moving along, um, you will get directions when you first launch the simulator, and I highly recommend that you read them. If you're unable to get to this launch screen to where it starts giving you directions, or if it asks you for your name at this point, if you can't get to the screen, it's probably an issue with your web browser. You don't have Flash installed or a new version of Flash. So what I recommend you do is download Firefox. All my students seem to have success using the Firefox web browser. It's completely free to use. If you're on a Chromebook, you can get it at the Google Play Store for free. If you're on an Apple product, an iPad, um, you can get it in iTunes. Um, if you're on a MacBook or a desktop or a laptop, you can just go onto Google, search for Firefox, and you'll get the free download. Install it and run this program on Firefox. It might work on Google Chrome or Safari, but if it doesn't, please try Firefox. That tends to work. If that doesn't work, you can go ahead and co contact the McGraw-Hill Connect customer service because they have the technical expertise to get you um, with ever, whatever your technical demands are. All right, so I'm going to start over here. Make sure you read the instructions for the simulators. You're not going to be able to pass them unless you read the instructions because they're very specific in what they want you to do. Um, once you answer questions in the simulator, you cannot go back. However, I have given you unlimited attempts so you can um, start over as many times as you want before the due date. Um, so just keep that in mind. You will eventually get to this screen. Pick your avatar. There's just a picture for you and that's going to represent you in the game. And then go ahead and type in your name under player name. Um, you'll then be given what your goals are. So this is your task. Is you need to get this done. And then, like I said, you'll have some uh, talking on the left and some navigation on the right. I'll show you an example of that. And don't forget, you also have some little buttons on the bottom right, like review or go back to manual view, make it a big screen. So there's quite a few little things you can do with the navigation. And you can review what decisions you've made. So if you wanna, you know, for example, if I was doing this, I might take a screenshot or remember what I've done. So then when I, if I didn't do it correctly, I can go back and try something different the next time. Okay, so I am screen sharing the simulation right now. You can see there's a help button on the bottom, but the, most of the buttons are gonna be yellow, I find. Um, and so here's your, you know, can you balance them company employees interest using the right communication methods? And so here we'll start. I'll be the person with the cool up hair and I'll just type Drew, continue. And so as you see here on the left, you can see the three different people in the conversation here. You can see that Chandra saying hi, Ian and Drew, because Ian's in here as well. Glad we can get together to discuss this productivity issue. So you just I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. Here's your, here's your first given set of data. Um, you can see my score here. I haven't scored anything yet. And you can keep going and just read up on this until you get to the first question which is, this seems to be a non-routine change that will affect the entire organization, Drew. How do you think we should message out the new social media policy? So based on what you read up here, um, you, can, um, you can pick your thing. So flyer, um, I got it wrong. So uh, now I have another one to do. Um, newsletter, how about that? No, okay, any other ideas? Okay, eventually we can get this one right. Okay, face to face with the manager is the way to go. Okay, and then we can email the CEO. Yes, so face to face and email the CEO. Okay, so now as you see here, we have different options, and I have to read up on the options. I can even go between the little tabs. So as the simulator goes on, you're going to have additional tabs pop up here. You'll have a live score of your of your uh, your score. 
Um, so keep, just make sure you're using the whole screen, everything from the left side with the, with the questions in yellow to the right side, which has tabs. You might even be able to click buttons in the middle here, and then you have some navigation things in the lower right as well. Okay, so there you have it. That should get you started on these assignments. Uh, like I said, you get unlimited attempts. And if you have, if you can't get to the screen, that's an issue with your web browser. Please contact customer support or try the Firefox method. And uh, let me know if you have any additional issues. We do want to get these issues resolved because there is three of these assignments. So I want to make sure you're set up um, as we move forward in the class.